my name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, hi, my name is Jess. So happy and excited to have you here today. And if you like home decor, this video wise and projects on a budget, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that i'm going to be uploading new videos for today's video i want to share with you my top and best 20 diys that i have been made through this year 2021 i really love all of these projects so i was so excited to put all of these diys together in one video for you guys so you can watch all of them i hope that you like it and if you do please give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support this channel you can share this video with friends and family and remember to follow me on all my social media pages web page and my other channel just on my home i'm going to leave you the links in the description box and yeah let's get started this is a long video so relax take a cup of coffee hot cocoa or something and let's get started lead hanging lamp that i get from dollar tree and i love it it looks super cute and it was just one dollar which is amazing so guys you can leave the top in that gold color if you like it i really want to change it a little bit and give it another color so i'm going to be using my Waverly shock paint in white color and i'm going to give it about two coats of paint just to make sure that it covers well and i also add some tape to the bulb just to make sure that it doesn't get in any paint now that i have this pot ready i really want to make like a big pendant light so i'm going to be using this garden dish from dollar tree and um, i'm going to be using this because it's a perfect size for me to do this project and first i'm going to be using this soldering tool i get it from amazon and of course the link is going to be in the description box and i'm just going to be making a hole on the top in the center um, big enough to be able to put the smaller hanging light inside of this garden dish with this soldering tool it's super easy to cut this hole now i want to give it a one coat of paint with these matte river rock spray paint color um, on the top and on the bottom to have like a base for my project and like i did in the other project i want to make like a concrete texture to these pendant light and i'm going to be doing the same thing i'm going to be mixing the mineral shock paint color with some baking soda and i'm going to be adding that to this garden dish i really want to make this like look super realistic it's all about details guys so i'm going to be using a little bit of white color too to add to these to give it some kinds of like shades and more dimension and also you can use a darker gray i'm going to be using this one i think it's the elephant color and i'm also going to be adding that Another great tip that I found is that you can use the heat tool at the same time that you are adding the color with the baking soda and that is going to make that my dish have a very rough texture. I did the same technique on both sides of my, of my garden dish to make sure that this is going to have a very realistic look. It's, it's going to look like concrete. Now the brush is going to look so bad at the end because you are adding hot air but it's okay then you can wash your brush and it's going to be perfect again. Now that my garden dish is extra dry I'm going to be sticking the, the hanging light on the dish. I'm going to be using a little bit of E6000 just to make sure that it's going to stay strong attached and I'm also going to be adding hot glue just to make the process a little bit faster this is going to dry so fast and it's going to stay strong attached now you can see that you can turn on the light and it looks super cute and i'm going to be adding now all the details to be able to hang these pendant lights i'm going to be using nautical rope from dollar tree and i'm going to put it on the small system that the hanging light has on the top on that 
small wire piece and I'm going to make like a hoop and, and then stick some of the nautical row to make like a to make like a small knot. When I saw these, I think it looks great like that, but um, I don't know, I'm not sure about that small um, piece of wire. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of the youth cord that I have at home. I'm going to be rolling the youth cord to make sure that I cover the wire well. And then I'm going to put it back on my hanging light. And the final touch is going to be adding a little bit more of this rope on the inside of these pendant lights just because um, I use my soldering tool and this is going to add like a like kind of weird finish so I'm going to be covering that with the rope and that will be all for this project. You can hang these pendant lights on your kitchen, from the ceiling, from the wall, you decide guys. Um, but this is the result and I love how it looks. I think it has a really high-end finish. I love the faux concrete look and I think it looks awesome. You can find these in most of the store for like $100 or like $200. And this was so inexpensive to do and I love how it turned out. this project I'm going to be using these glass cylinder vase um, that I get from Dollar Tree and I really like this vase to make so many projects and another thing that I'm going to be using is rope I'm going to use this nautical rope and I'm going to basically unroll the rope because it's super thick um, and I need it to be a little bit thinner so I'm going to unroll the rope and then I'm going to start sticking that rope from the bottom of my glass vase I'm going to cover my vase about one third of the length of my vase um just just a small part because i want the other part to have another color once i cover this part of my vase i'm going to be using this other nautical rope from dollar tree again it's super thick so i'm going to unroll the rope and i'm going to start sticking that thin rope until i cover my whole vase and to stick all the ropes, I'm going to be using hot glue. Once I was done covering my base with rope, this is how it's going to look. And I really like it, but I think it needs something else. So I'm going to be using this faux leather ribbon that I get from Dollar Tree. I love the color. Um, so yeah, I just cut two small pieces and I'm going to be sticking those ribbon pieces on each side of my base. And these are going to look like small handles and it's going to add more texture and a cute little touch to my base. Once I put the two small pieces of ribbon, this is how the vase is going to look and I really like it. And I'm going to be adding a small um, detail to the pieces of ribbon that I stick. I'm going to be using these drawing pins and I'm going to cut the tip that has and then I'm going to be sticking that to each end of the ribbon that I put and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. This is going to add just a small detail, um, but I think it looks amazing and it gives it a high-end look. And guys, once I was done, I put a plant inside of my vase and this is how my project turned out. I really like it and it has a high-end look. I think it looks so expensive, but it was on a budget, so so happy how it turned out.
for the next project I'm going to be using four of these canvas from Dollar Tree I'm going to be using two in a six by eight inches and two other ones in the eight by ten inches size like in most of the projects that I do I like to separate the canvas fabric from the wood frame so I'm going to be removing all the staples with these staple remover that I love I get it from Amazon and you can find the link in the description box okay and now I'm going to be separating the canvas fabric from the wood frame and once you have that part ready you need to use a sandpaper or a sanding sponge to sand all of the edges of the wood to make them smoother and now that I have all my wood frames I'm going to be adding color and for that I'm going to be using my special walnut stain that I love I'm going to be painting all of these wood frames outside and then I'm going to let them dry you can use any stain color that you like or any paint or maybe wax if you have it I'm going to be using this because it's the one that I love the most Okay, once they are dry this is how they're going to look and next I'm going to be using these it's like a rattan bag for wine I get this from a thrift store a long time ago you can get rattan or any other material you can use maybe a sink mat from Dollar Tree to create this DIY um, you can use so many things just depending on what material or texture you are looking for I'm going to be using these because I really love this material but you can use it anything that you have and you like what I'm going to be doing is to be cutting these and I'm going to stick these on the back side of the frames with hot glue and then I'm also going to be adding staples just to make sure that it's going to stick and stay strong I'm going to be using these because I think it's rattan I'm not sure but if you don't have these at home you can also use these non-sleep rug underlay that you can get from Dollar Tree it has a pretty similar um, design and it looks pretty similar the difference is that the one from Dollar Tree is plastic but I think it's going to work you can use that item too okay once I stick it this is how it's going to look and I'm going to be doing the same thing on all of the frames that I have next I'm going to be putting all of these frames together and I'm going to be creating like a box sticking all of these together putting the smaller ones on the sides and I'm going to stick this with hot glue but if you want to make it stronger you can add a 6000 glue Once I have um, this box, I'm going to be creating the bottom part, the base. So for that, I'm going to be using popsicle sticks, the largest one that I get from Walmart. And I'm going to be painting this first with my special walnut stain and then I'm going to let them dry. Once they are dry, this is how they are going to look. And now it is time to stick these on the bottom part of my box to create that vase. And for that, I'm going to be using hot glue. I think you can use wooden glue to make it so much stronger. Um, but this is going to dry so much faster, so this is what I'm going to be using. Once I stick all of these popsicle sticks on the um, bottom part of my box, I want to make these with some height. So for that, I'm going to be using these wooden caps that I get, I think, from Walmart. I don't know. I'm not sure. I have this for a long time. Um, so I'm going to be using these. I'm going to paint them with the same stain. And then I'm going to be sticking these to the bottom where I stick the popsicle stick. Next, I want to add something on inside just to, to kind of cover everything inside. Um, you can use maybe bags. I'm going to be using the craft paper that I have. And then I'm going to be adding this greenery. I get these from Ikea. I have it for a long time. You can add any flower that you like, any greenery from Dollar Tree, from Walmart. Anything that you have and you like. And this is how this project is going to look. I am... So happy and impressed how these turned out. I think it's so much better than what I have on mind before. And I really like it. It's so much easy to do, um, inexpensive using Dollar Tree items and things that I have around my home. And like I said, you can do this same project if you don't have this kind of like rattan material. You, you can use the non-slip rock underlay from Dollar Tree. <laughs> this next project I'm going to be using this stretch canvas mix 
pack that I get from Five Below. It comes with three canvases, um, three different sizes, and I'm actually going to be using it too. The eight by eight and the six by six inches. Um, these are the perfect size for the project that I'm going to be doing right now. You can maybe use canvases from Dollar Tree, but they are going to have this rectangle shape. These ones are square and they are just perfect. So I'm going to be using this ones and I'm going to be removing the staples with these staple remover that I highly recommend because I'm only going to be using the frames on these projects. Once I have the two wooden frames, I'm going to also be using wooden dowels. And I got these ones from Walmart, but, but you can check at Dollar Tree because I'm pretty sure um, they have ones right now on the Crafter Squares section. I'm going to be using four of these round dowels and I'm going to start sticking them on the edges of the, of the bigger frame with hot glue. First, I'm going to start adding only two dowels because now I'm going to be sticking the other wood frame, the smaller one on top. I'm going to be sticking this with hot glue and I need to work a little bit fast um, because I need to make sure to put all of the dowels and make sure that they look straight with the canvas that is on the top um, before the glue dries. Remember that these two wood frames are different sizes so the dowels are going to be planted a little bit diagonally but it's going to look amazing once I stick all of these a dowel this is how it's going to look my lantern for the moment and I decide to make a vase for this lantern and for that I decide to use these Jumbo popsicle sticks that you can get um, I get them from Walmart and I'm going to start sticking them on the bottom part of my lantern with hot glue Now it's time to add color to these and I'm going to be using these wood finish stain in special walnut color. I'm going to paint this outside and let it dry for a couple hours and once it's completely dry this is how it looks. I love the color it has and now I'm going to give these a really cool look. I'm going to be using these bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint them. I'm going to be using some black paint because I want to make these have like a very modern look but you can use maybe any other color maybe white if you want or just leave them in the natural bamboo color. Once I paint all of them I'm going to dry these with my heat tool. Once I paint all of these bamboo skewers, this is how they look. Now I'm going to start sticking them on my lantern and I'm so happy because these bamboo skewers are the perfect size for this lantern. This lantern is going to be about 12 inches um, tall, the size that all of the dowels and the bamboo skewers are. And now what I'm going to be doing is to start sticking the bamboo skewers that I just painted in black color all around the lantern and I'm going to do that um, using hot glue I'm just going to add a small dot of hot glue on the bottom of each of the bamboo skewers and one small dot on the top for where the small canvas is and I'm going to be doing the same to the whole lantern to make sure that I cover all of the sides now for the top i think it needs something extra just to kind of like cover all of the dowels and those uh, like not beautiful parts of the lantern so i'm going to be using some popsicle stick i just paint them with the black shock paint and then i'm going to start sticking four of these popsicle sticks on the top of the lantern and it's going to make these lantern look so much better 
now if you want to add a handle you maybe can use rope from Dollar Tree I decide to use these um, handle from this old basket that I have I think it's the perfect size and I think it's going to look super cool I decide to leave it at the color that it was and I'm just going to um, stick these with some drawing pins that I have at home next I'm going to be adding a battery candle inside of this lantern um, and then you can add some greenery around the candle just to make it look so much better this is like a very long garland actually and you can find the link of these in the description box of this video um, but yeah this is how my project turned out I think it looks beautiful amazing I'm just so happy with this project I have this idea on mine for a long time and, and I finally did it and I can't be more happy with the result and I just really really hope that you like it project I'm going to be using one of these pot belly vase that you can get from Dollar Tree or maybe any vase that you have at home and you also need some raffia and I got this one I think it's new I got it from Dollar Tree and it comes with a lot of raffia so it is perfect for so many projects and what I'm going to be doing is like separate all of the raffia and I'm going to get one piece and I'm going to start gluing these on my vase now I'm going to leave a small space on the top without raffia yeah, and I'm going to start gluing small pieces or like strips of raffia in, in a diagonal direction. And they're going to look like a little bit turned from one side to the other. Once I have that step ready, I'm going to be doing the same, but I'm going to stick the other pieces of raffia looking to the other direction. Hope that makes sense. They're going to look like so many X's on my vase. Okay, once I stick everything with my hot glue, this is how my um, base is going to look. And next, I'm going to be using some more raffia. I'm going to get a few pieces. I'm going to stick them on one side with hot glue and I'm going to start making a braid. I want to make like a really long piece of braid to be able to use it for all my base. Now that I have my braid ready, I'm going to stick this um, braid on the top of the vase where all of those raffia pieces are. And this is going to cover all of the mess with the glue that you maybe are going to have. Once I stick the first piece of braid on the top, I'm going to be doing the same but on the bottom of the vase. And this is going to work perfect because it's going to cover all of the mess that you have with the glue. And from there, you want to do the same. You want to have a total of four pieces of braid stick on your vase. Um, but this is going to depend on the vase that you are using. Okay, once you're done with the face, this is how it's going to look. And you can leave it like that, of course, if you want. But I want to make like a pitcher vase. So for that, I'm going to be using a small piece of rope, of nautical rope. And you are also going to need some wire. And what you want to do is to cover the whole rope with the wire to um, be able to do like any shape that you want on your rope. Of course, I need to cover these and for that I'm going to be using some more raffia. I'm just going to get a few pieces and I'm going to add some hot glue and I'm going to cover um, this whole piece with the raffia. Once your whole piece is covered with raffia, this is how it's going to look and it's so cool because you can do so many shapes because of the wire that you added to your rope. Now it's time to stick this on your vase and I'm just going to stick one side on the top and the other one on the bottom to be able to form a handle for my picture okay guys once i was done this is how my project turned out it was so easy to make it doesn't take me so long to do it and i think it looks amazing this is a very trending piece that i saw on pinterest and in so many web pages and i made a dupe with dollar tree items and i think it looks amazing and with a high-end look <laughs> next 
project I'm going to be using this round circle wooden plaque that I get from Walmart only 97 cents and I really love to work with these wooden plaques and I'm going to be removing this table with these tape staple remover I think that's the name of this tool anyways you can get the link in the description box I get it from Amazon and it works so good so yeah I'm going to be removing that and then I'm going to be um, painting these using stain my special walnut um, stain color that I love and then I'm going to let it dry once this piece is dry this is the color this is how it looks and I like it a lot so I decide to add a candle holder that I get from a Dollar Tree it's black I love the color and um, how modern it looks so I'm going to be sticking these to the bottom of the wooden plaque with some hot glue if you want it to stick stronger you can use E6000 glue okay now that i have this cake stand and i like it a lot i want to add a lid to it so i'm going to be using this clear glass bowl that i get from dollar tree and i like it a lot i made one of these before but the bowl was white this time it's clear i think it looks more realistic so i'm going to be using this for the lid and for the top you can add something else to make it look a little bit better so for that i like to use these small piece of wood i'm going to be using that for the top and then you can add something else like this wooden cup to make it look a little bit better so i'm going to be sticking that to the top and then i'm going to be staining this with the same special one stain and then let it dry First, I was so excited about how it looks and how the wooden cap looks but I think it needs something else so I decided to remove the wooden cap to add this faux leather ribbon from Dollar Tree I cut a small piece and I add hot glue and then I stick it on the top this is going to make this project look so much more I think different and modern at the same time and, and it's going to add another type of texture which is what I love I love to make projects with a lot of texture I don't love a lot of colors on my project but I am a big fan of textures so I like to add those on my projects and this is a big example of that and I love how it turned out my project using this terrarium planter that you can get at Dollar Tree and I like it because it has these like a bubble shape um, so what I'm going to be doing is remove that little hoop that has on one side and then I need to create another hole on this piece I want the bigger hole to go to look like down so on the top I need to make another hole and for that I'm going to be using my soldering tool this is one of the best tools that you can use to make holes on plastic plastic and also to kind of like draw on wood once I did my hole this is how it's going to look and next I'm going to be using some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and this nautical rope is super thick so I'm going to be separating these in three long pieces and then I'm going to start gluing this rope around my planter and I'm going to leave the hole that I did on the top and then I'm going to basically just cover the whole planter with this nautical rope I'm going to be using hot glue for this but you can use maybe um, some dots of E6000 to make sure that it's going to stick well and it's not going to go anywhere once I finish this is how it's going to look and next I always like to use some fire to burn like the small hair pieces that protrude from the nautical rope and this is going to give it more like texture color and it's going to look so much better Next, I'm going to be using this lead hanging um, lamp that I got from Dollar Tree. I have these for a few months now. And if you have one, you can recreate this project so easy. What I'm going to be doing is like to remove the bulb and then I'm going to be covering the lights with some tape. Next, I want to change the color of these. I don't like the gold, so I'm going to be using some spray paint in ultra matte black color. And I'm going to spray paint this outside and then let it dry. This is how it's going to look. Next, I'm going to be using the bulb and I'm going to insert that through the biggest hole on my um, planter and then you can add the other part of the lamp on the top. 
you maybe can add some hot glue to make sure that it's going to stick well next you need something to be able to hang this light so i'm going to be using these um, i use these and i did these using doll tree items and i have a video for that i'm actually just reusing these and i'm also going to be using some chains from dollar tree that you can find these mostly on the halloween section at dollar tree i'm going to be adding the chains and then i'm going to be hanging my lamp on the chains and then you just have to add these to the wall and this is how this project turns out it was so so easy to make i love creating lamps using doll tree items and as i told you you can check the link of how i did the hanging system from this lamp in the other video so make sure that you check that video the link is in the description box Okay guys, so for this project, I'm going to be using these shower curtain rings that I get from Dollar Tree. You can get these in the package bring 12. So I'm going to be using these. I'm not going to use them all. I think like five or six curtain rings, but you decide how many you want to use. Um, anyways, I'm going to be using this youth cord that I also get from Dollar Tree. And basically what I'm going to be doing is to cover the shower curtain rings with the youth cord. I'm going to be covering these super easy but it's going to take you a little bit of time so just relax put some music and enjoy the process once i covered the first one with the youth cord i'm going to be adding the next one and i'm going to place it inside of the one that has the rope and then i'm going to start covering that that way i'm going to make sure that this is going to look like a chain garland I'm going to be doing the same with all of the curtain rings like I said I think I used like six but you can do it longer if you want or um, a little bit shorter and once I cover all of them with the youth cord this is how um, my rope garland chain is going to look um, if you want you can add you can put some fire in it and that way the rope is going to burn out just a little bit and it's going to give it more color and it's going to give it a nicer touch so yeah this is how I did it this is how my project ended up looking it's super inexpensive I only spent two dollars on this project and I think it looks amazing you can place this anywhere inside of a tray on a table um, and I think it looks super nice For this next project, I'm going to be using two of these canvases. Um, these ones are 8 by 10 inches. And you can do the same project with any canvas size that you have from Dollar Tree um, that has a wood frame. So what I'm going to be doing is to remove all of the staples that has on the backside. And I'm going to be using this amazing tool that I got from Amazon. One of my subscribers recommend this to me. And I have been using these for like the past two months. And I, I love it so much. I highly recommend this tool. So make sure that you check on my Amazon links on the description box and also on my Amazon store. Guys, most of the materials or tools or things that I use for crafts that I love or things that I get to decorate my home like rugs or plants or things like that and you can check all of that in my um, Amazon store so click in the link um, in the description box okay once I remove all of the canvas fabric this is how my two frames are going to look and I'm going to be sticking these two pieces together um, to make sure that it's going to stick super strong I'm going to be using wood glue um, and I'm also going to be using hot glue to make sure that dries faster and and that I can work with this piece a little bit faster um, because I'm making this video but um, in real life guys you can use only wood glue and just um, let it dry for a couple hours 
Next, I'm going to be using these sticks. Um, I just have them in my garage and I'm going to be using them. My husband helped me and he cut four pieces about nine inches long each one. And what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be using my sanding sponge and I'm going to be sanding these very well to make sure that all of the edges are super soft. Next, I'm going to be adding these um, sticks on the sides of my canvas frames. And to stick them, I'm going to be using wood glue and then I'm going to let them dry super, super well. Guys, you can stick these just outside of the wood frames or you can stick them with the stick sticking out just a little bit on top of the frames to give them more style to what will be a plant stand. once they're dry this is how my project is going to look for the moment now it's time to add color to this wood um, you can use any stain that you like I'm going to be using this time these Waverly wax in antique color I really like this wax because it doesn't smell that strong as the stains and the color is beautiful and it dries super faster so I'm going to be using this and I'm going to um, basically stain my whole wood and then let it dry once the wood is dry this is how um, my project is going to be looking for the moment and I really like it I'm going to be using this youth cord from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be cutting a really long piece I'm going to put it like double and then I'm going to make like a small loop um, and then make basically like a knot um, on my canvas on one side of the canvas and, or, and make like a small knob on the other side hope that makes sense um, and then I'm going to be basically like wrapping this around of the wood once I did the first line um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap a little bit like I, I have to say like one inch of the piece of wood and then I'm going to cross again to the other side of the canvas to make the same team wrap around the piece of wood like about one inch and then cross to the other side of the canvas to cover one inch again and like do the same step until I basically cover the whole piece now I did this on only one direction as you can see and for the other side what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start in the same way I'm going to make like a small loop I'm going to try to like make a knot in then and then cross to the other side but this time I'm going to be crossing in and between all of the pieces of youth cord that I already have I'm basically going to be like ribbing these or making like this pattern um through the whole piece um and trust me this is extremely easy to make but these take me a lot a lot a lot of time to do because I think I used the wrong youth cord. This is extremely thin. Um, if you want to do this type of project, I think you maybe can use another kind, maybe like nautical rope or any other type of, of rope, um, just because it's going to take you a lot of time to cover this whole piece um, making this pattern. Okay, once I was done with my stand, I decided to add some fire to the twine because as you may know me, I love to do these. I think it adds an amazing texture and a high-end finish look to any rope or any jute. And this is how it turned out. I also um, sand the edges of the wood of the sticks just to add that extra touch that I also like. Um, but anyways, this is how my project turned out. A little bit of time consuming because of I think it was for the um, youth that I decided to use extremely thin for this massive project but totally worth it I'm so happy and proud of the, of how this project turned out using this canvas from Dollar Tree and the youth from Dollar Tree um, and you know like the sticks I already have them <laughs> Okay, 
my next project and I'm going to be using these decanter vase that I get from Dollar Tree and I really really like the shape of it and I'm also going to be using this rope that I have at home you can use the one from Dollar Tree the nautical rope but I didn't have enough at home so I'm just going to be using this one that works amazing too and I get it from Walmart and I'm going to be cutting a few pieces in the same size and then I'm just going to be gluing those in a very cool line on my vase. You want to stick about 15 pieces of rope because you want to make sure that you're going to have sets of three. So I stick 15 pieces of rope. Then what I'm going to be doing is to start trying to make a braid. I was like so scared about this DIY. At first I had no idea what I was doing but, but I just took it easy and then I just started like figuring out how to make a braid with um, like 15 pieces of rope. But I think the hardest part is when you start making the braid and then um, everything is going to be so much easier. But remember guys if you don't want to make a braid it's okay you can do something else maybe if you know how to do macrame you can do that too and I know that is going to look awesome too Once I was done with my crazy braid, I'm going to start sticking the rope on my vase. I need to do these just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. And also because my braid was like too small and I need to make it bigger. So I'm going to try to like move all the pieces of rope and make my braid a little bit bigger. And that way is going to cover most of my vase. I hope that you can see what I'm doing. Once I stick all the braid into my vase, I'm going to cut the extra rope that I have and then I'm going to add hot glue just to make sure that everything is going to stick well. And then you maybe can add a piece of rope and stick it on the top um, where all those ends of ropes are just to make sure that that part is going to look so much better. Once I was done with my vase, this is how my project turned out. I was so scared about this project, but I think it turned out amazing. I put a small piece of greenery inside to make it look like simple and modern at the same time. And I'm just so happy how this project turned out and I hope that you like it too. this project I'm going to be using this Jardine vase that you can get from Dollar Tree um, and they have two that looks very similar but this is the one that I'm going to be using but because I think that it works the best for this project and I'm also going to be using the sprinkler now you can get a few of these on Dollar Tree for the summertime um, and they are so cool and actually from this one I'm going to be removing the lid that it has I'm going to remove the screw and I'm going to take that top part then I want to add like a small wooden cap on the top to kind of like give it a finished look to this piece. Um, so I stick this wooden piece, you can get this from Walmart or Amazon. And what I'm going to be doing is creating a ginger jar with these two pieces. Now to give it the final look, I'm going to spray paint these outside and for that I'm going to be using this warm caramel color and I'm going to spray paint these outside and then I'm going to let it dry. 
once they are dry this is how my two pieces look now you can add maybe some stickers you can add um, maybe rope or something like that or maybe like a sticker um, to create a pattern normally these ginger jars has always like some kind of pattern or they look um, like in just one color so I decided to leave it simple with this color and this is how my project turned out it looks exactly like a ginger jar um, and it looks so expensive but it's all on a budget it cost me less than two dollars to make it um, and I love how it turned out for this project I'm going to be using this bamboo wreath that I got from Dollar Tree and I found that you can get this into different sizes I think this is the big one and next I'm going to be using these ferns that I also got from Dollar Tree and I really like them they're from a really good quality they look amazing and also they are made with a piece of wire in the center and that's very convenient what I'm going to be doing is to cut the ferns and then I'm going to be sticking these inside of the wreath because this is a bamboo wreath it's super easy to do that um, and I'm going to be using about um, like 10 ferns that means only like two bushes um, from Dollar Tree um, so only two dollars so this project is going to turn out so inexpensive um, and I did the same in all of the wreath I um, accommodate the ferns making sure they look like a little bit curved and then I insert all of the ferns in my bamboo wreath and you can insert these inside of the bamboo wreath but you can also use hot glue or e6000 to make sure that all of the greenery is going to stick well and strong and it's not going anywhere once I stick those, I think my wreath needs to look a little bit more fuller. So I'm going to be using these other ferns. These ones are a little bit smaller, but I'm not sure if these ones are from Dollar Tree or from Walmart for only 98 cents or something like that. Um, but anyways, it's still less than $1. So, and that's great. So I use these to basically fulfill all of my wreath. Finally, I have these other ferns at home. I think they're so cute, so pretty. Um, so I decide to add those two to complete my wreath. So basically I use three different ferns um, but you can use maybe other um, type of greenery that you have and you like. I was just so excited to make a wreath out of ferns. Next I decide to add a cute bow with this ribbon that I have at home I think from, from the Christmas season. It's just white and black um, and I really like it so I'm going to be making a bow and I'm going to add that in the top of the wreath and then I'm going to attach that with a piece of ute. You can make a small hoop on the back side of this wreath to be able to hang these anywhere. And I decided to hang these on the um, door that I have on the backyard. And I really like it. I think it pops out really good with my orange door. Um, and I really like it. It turned out so inexpensive and I think it looks so perfect. <laughs> next project I'm going to be using these black candle holders that I get from Dollar Tree they have candle holders in different shapes um, and colors I decide to get this ones and I'm going to be putting two together to make like a taller um, candle holder and I'm going to be adding e6000 and hot glue to be able to stick them together and, and make sure that they are going to stay strong attached now as you can see where the candle holders join you can see a few gaps and you can fill them maybe with some sparkling I decide to use hot glue to fill those gaps you with the hot glue it's not going to look perfect but it doesn't matter because I'm going to paint these and you're not gonna be able to see that I'm going to be using these Weberly shock paint in hazelnut color and I'm going to paint these two candle holders. I'm going to be using two, one that is the taller one that has the two candle holders and the other one I'm going to be using just one. Like I said, I'm going to paint them. I'm going to give it two coats of paint in this color just to make sure that it's going to cover well. 
once I paint my candle holders, I'm going to be using my Weverly Shock Paint in plaster color and I'm going to be using these type of brushes. I'm going to add just a small amount of paint on my brush and I'm going to be making like the dry brush technique on my candle holders and this is going to add a distressed look to them. Once I was done painting my candle holders, this is how they look and I love them. Now it is time to add these glass tea light holders that I get from Dollar Tree. I love them. They look like, like a milk vase. I think they are new and I really like them. So, so I'm going to be removing all the stickers and I'm going to add a small dot of glue um, and I'm going to glue them to the top of my candle holders. Now you can add a candle inside of these tea light holders, but I decide to add this greenery. So I'm going to be adding these one longer than the other one, depending on how long my candle holders are. And this is how my project turned out. I love how it looks. Um, you can make a set of two like I did, or maybe a set of three. These type of candle holders can cost a lot and you can do it using adultery items. I just spent like $5 to make these DIYs because I already have the paint. For this next project, I'm going to be using these baskets that I got from Dollar Tree and they come in different colors and, and shapes. I got this one that has a dot base in a square shape and I love them and I love this natural color of the basket and what I'm going to be doing is super simple. I'm just going to be adding some hot glue on the bottom part and I'm going to stick um, both of the baskets together. Next you can add these gloss crystal clear um, spray paint this is the, going to add just like a glossy finish my goal with the spray paint was to make um, the baskets a little bit darker but I don't know if I've achieved that goal maybe just a little bit anyways you can add any paint you can maybe can create a design to the baskets with some tape and paint um, you have so many options I just decide to leave it simple and next is time to add any greenery flower anything that you want and you like to to these baskets I decide to use these foliage from Dollar Tree and I have been using these a lot recently because they're so beautiful they comes with so many stems um, and they look so full on any vase or any basket and I love them so I decide to add three of these inside um, and I add these to my living room this is how my project turned out and I love it I think it looks so beautiful so high-end but it was so extremely easy to create maybe if you add more baskets and make these a little bit higher it could look amazing and like I said you can add more color any pattern that you like and make these amazing plants and look awesome on any space I'm um, using only Dollar Tree baskets <music> For this next project, I'm going to be using one of these paddle cutting boards that I get from Dollar Tree. You can find these on the kitchen area and I want to change the color so I'm going to be using this spray paint in ultra matte black color. I'm going to spray paint these outside and then I'm going to let it dry. You can see it has a small um, like it looks like sand um, when I was painting I don't know some sand flies on my cutting board but actually I like it so I'm going to leave it like that so next I'm going to be using this cube that I get from like the Dollar Tree wooden cubes that you can get in the craft section and I'm going to be using like the drawer part and I'm going to be painting this with my stain in special walnut color I'm going to paint these then let it dry and this is how it's going to look okay next I'm going to be sticking this drawer on my cutting board with some on the bottom part of the cutting board at the top on the 
part that has a small hole the cutting board I'm going to be adding some rope to make it look nice and it's going to add a really cute um, finished look Um, you can add so many things inside of these cube you can add flowers if you want I'm going to be using this foliage that I get from Dollar Tree Dollar Tree right now has so many options on flowers and, and foliage so keep an eye on that next if you want to add another touch another type of texture or color I'm going to be using these leather ribbon that I get from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be cutting a small piece, a small strip, and I'm going to stick that in the center of my cube. Once I was done, you can hang these on the wall, and this is how it's going to look. I think this project is perfect for your kitchen. It was so fun to do. I think it looks nice. I love the colors and the neutral tones and the textures, but you can change that depending on the style that you have in your home, and you can add any color. Next project, and this is a really fun one and one of my favorites. I'm going to be using these tray. You can get these at Dollar Tree, you can use this one or any one that you have, any tray that you have. So I'm going to be using this one and I'm going to add some stain. I decide to go with this color, so I stain this outside and then let it dry very well. I made a decal with my Cricut, uh, but you can do this same project using just paint. It's super easy. I just, I have the Cricut, so I decided to use it. And then you can use rocks. I think this is perfect for outside because they have some weight and they look so nice outside. So I'm going to be adding zeros and X on the rocks. Um, so this is going to be like a tic-tac-toe game. You can put this on the table outside or you can also use this inside of the house. It's just a small and super cool game that anyone can play um, and trust me I put these outside like a few days ago and every time we go outside we just play these and it is super fun to do and so inexpensive using this one dollar tray from Dollar Tree going to be using this hanging wire planter that I, you can get from Dollar Tree and I have these for a long time and I never have an idea of what I can do with it and now I have it so I'm going to share that with you I remove all of the chains from the hanging um, planter and then I'm going to be using wire you can use any wire that you have maybe a stronger one than this one this is from Dollar Tree It's the only one that I have at home so I'm going to be using this one I'm just going to wrap it a little bit and make it a little bit more um, thick and strong and I did a few of these pieces with the wire now it is time to add these to the hanging planter and I'm going to be like wrapping and tying these on the top of the planter hope that makes sense and you can see what I'm doing they're going to have like an arc shape on the top of the planter um, and I'm going to be attaching five of these around the planter once I tie all of the pieces of wire this is how it's going to look now is when the magic happens I'm going to be using my nautical rope from Dollar Tree this is super thick you can use that if you want or you can separate all of the three pieces of rope that are in this nautical rope and I'm going to be um, gluing I'm going to start on the bottom and I'm going to start gluing and, and turning the rope around all of the wire because I want to cover the whole piece with rope it's super easy but it's going to take a little bit of time so just relax put some music um, drink a cup of coffee and enjoy the process
To cover this whole piece, I only use one of the nautical ropes from Dollar Tree, so I think that's great. You can do that with any rope that you have at home or this one from Dollar Tree. Um, it's going to cost less money. Okay, now it's time to burn all of the rope and this is going to make a huge difference in your project. It's going to give it a high end look, make the rope look so much better um, and it's going to give it like more textures. So I'm going to be doing that and this is how it ended up looking. Now for the second part of this project, I'm going to be using this plant stand that I did like one year ago and I have a video for that, I'm going to leave that link in the description box. So I want to fix it a little bit, I want to make it a little bit stronger, I add some wooden glue on the legs, I know it looks super messy, I'm going to be clean all of that. I add some wooden glue on the legs and also I'm going to be adding screws on the legs because it only has nails before. I think it's going to work so much better and be more stronger with screws so I did that the next step is going to change the colors I want to make these and make it look like new and a little bit different with a modern look so I'm going to be changing the brown color and I'm going to be covering that with black I'm going to be using my Rivoli shock paint in black color I just have to give it one coat of paint and then just let it dry once I paint my plant stand with the black color this is how it ended up looking and I really like it I think it looks just like new and it give it a new vibe and I like it um the bottom part I think it looks great in white color so I'm just going to add some tape around just to make sure that when I paint it's going to have a straight lines and I'm going to paint the bottom part with my Reverly shock paint in white color then let it dry in then I can remove all of the tape and you're going to have a straight lines with the difference of colors on your plant stand now that I have my plant stand painted it's time to put all together I'm going to be adding um, basically the rope basket that I did I'm going to be adding that on the top you can add hot glue but I'm going to leave it like that um, just to be able to change it later if I want to I'm going to be using these planter that I get from Dollar Tree now I like the green color but I actually want to change it so I'm going to be using this ivory this spray paint color I think that's the name and I'm going to spray paint this outside and then let it dry Once it is dry, this is how it's going to look and I'm going to add that inside of the um, rope basket that I did and then you can add any plant, any flower, any greenery that you have. i actually going to be using these ones that I get from um, Walmart, I think, and a few other ones that I have from Ikea. I think this is going to give it a really nice touch because these plants are hanging from the basket and that is going to make this project look amazing and this is how it ended up looking. Uh, it has a high and look um, and I just love it Project. I'm going to be using this giant bucket. You can get this from Dollar Tree and you can use this for so many things for storage, for organization. And I decided to make this in a like a planter. So I'm going to be covering this with a rope. I get this rope from a Walmart. You can do the same using um, the rope from Dollar Tree, just I didn't have enough at home. So I'm going to be using this one and I, and I actually like it a lot because of the color and it is super thick. So um, I'm going to be adding this, but I'm going to be mixing the rope in two different colors, in two different ones, just to make it a little bit more fun um, and interesting. So I'm going to be adding this other rope, it's a little bit more darker, I have this one at home home for for like a year or two um, and I really like it I didn't have too much of this rope so I'm going to be adding the rope in like sections intersecting the lighter one and the dark one um, I decide to keep
keep the handles I think they look super nice so I'm going to be covering them with more rope so first I cover both of the handles and then I continue sticking all of the rope on the bucket and guys you can stick the rope with hot glue that is going to work well um, and it's so much faster and easier but in some areas I add some E6000 just to make sure that the rope is going to stick well it's going to stay strong on the outside okay once I stick all of the rope this is how it's going to look and you can add any plant that you have on the outside and then cover everything well and I forget to show you here but I also add some holes on the bottom part of this bucket with my drill just to make sure that it, when it rains the water goes down so yeah this is how the project ended up looking and I really like it finally I have a really nice bucket where I have my palm and I really like how it looks um, these things can cost a lot uh, but you can do it yourself customize it and have a fun time Project, I'm going to be using these mat that I got from Dollar Tree and I love making rugs so I decided to make one today and you're only going to need some rope from Dollar Tree and basically what I'm going to be doing is to stick the rope on the mat you can cut so many pieces in the same size and then you just have to stick them in a straight uh, line creating lines or you can stick them creating any shape maybe like an oval or something like that just to cover your mat I'm going to be doing these in this way because it's super easy and it's going to look amazing but as you can see I'm leaving um, some rope extra on the sides because this is going to add a nice touch at the end that you're going to see in just a few seconds okay once I cover my mat completely with the rope I'm going to be adding an extra detail you don't need to do these but I think it works so well on my mat because I'm going to be basically like sewing the sides of the rock with some ute. I'm going to be adding these ute on the edge of the rock and it's, it's for like extra protection and addition of that is going to add a nice touch. I am going to be tying this ute above and below, above and below between all of the ropes and this will help me to get them all together and stay as a one piece on my rug. Now because I leave that extra rope on the sides of the rock, um, I want to like unroll or like unbraid all of the rope and make it look like a little bit more puffy and I really really like how this looks on my rock, it's super easy um, and once I have that side I'm going to be doing the same in the other side of the rock guys with this rug you have so many possibilities you can add a stencil and add some paint to write wherever you want on your rocks maybe like hi or goodbye or welcome and i think it's going to look so cool okay once i was done this is how my project turned out and i really 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 like it it's so beautiful so easy to do i spent about nine ropes from dollar tree to cover the whole mat it looks high end um and it's perfect for outdoors next project and I think this is one of my favorite ones I'm going to be using this hexagon planter that I get from Dollar Tree and I think it's new I never seen a planter like this before on Dollar Tree so I was so excited for that but I want to change it a little bit you know to make it fit a little bit better with my style so um, I was trying to use um, some nautical rope from Dollar Tree the one that I used in the first project but I didn't have enough at home so I decided to change it and use these like clothesline rope that I get from Walmart and I'm going to be covering my planter I'm going to first cover one third part of the planter and I'm going to cut the rope Next, I want to add another type of rope, so I'm going to be using some yute cord and I'm going to add that to the middle of the planter and then I'm going to continue covering the rest of the planter with the same clothesline rope from Walmart. Guys, this is super easy to do, just have a mind that you're going to 
um, spend a small amount of time doing this but that's okay with me I love how all of these projects always turn out so if you like it too you need to try this technique once I cover my planter with the rope this is how it's going to look and I really like it now it's time to work with the other part of the project which is the tree I'm going to be using these eucalyptus branches that I get from Amazon they are on an amazing price I think like 15 or 16 dollars something like that and it comes with six super big and large um, stems so I'm going to be using them to make my um, eucalyptus tree and the first thing that I'm going to be doing is to cut the branches just a little bit to make them a little bit smaller then you're going to need a big branch that you can get from the backyard I found this one on my backyard and I think it's just perfect for my project so I'm going to be using this one and I need my drill to make a few holes on the tree um, to be able to later stick the branches on um, the eucalyptus branches so keep on mind that you need a very strong branch um, to make sure that when you drill them they are strong enough um, and they're not going to broke so I found this one and I made like it I don't know I think like 10 holes on different directions in areas to be able to stick the stems later Then, as you can see, the eucalyptus um, branches in my real wood branch have different colors. So, just to make my branch look a little bit darker um, and look similar to the fall one, I'm going to be using some paint. You can use like any acrylic paint, but I think the best option is to use um, like any stain or like this wax because it's going to keep the natural wood looking and it's going to make your project look so much better so i did that and i paint the whole branch with this wax next i'm going to be cutting the bottom part of this branch because i need to make it a little bit more like straight so i'm going to be cutting that part and then with my drill, I'm going to make a hole on the bottom part of the branch. Th I'm going to be doing this one. It's not necessary. It's going to depend on what you like and what you have on hand. I have this small pot with a small amount of cement on the bottom. And I want to put like um, my branch inside of that. So I make the hole to be able to put a small stick. And then add hot glue and stick that on the small pot with the cement. You don't need to do this this is going to depend on like what you have you maybe can just put this branch on a pot and then add the cement if you have it then I add a few stones inside the pot just to add more weight and keep my branch more stable now that I have that it's time to put the pot with the branch inside of the planter that I did in and just to fill the planter I'm going to be using some paper and then I'm going to add moss on the top to cover the paper in and make this look so much better okay now that the bottom part is ready I'm going to be working with the top part of the tree and it is time to stick um, all the branches and it is super easy I'm going to be using hot glue works amazing maybe you can use wooden glue to make it so much stronger and now the only thing that you need to do is to start sticking all of these full branches on the holes that you did on your branch and just a really fast tip guys remember that you need to do the holes the same size that the full branches are to make sure that they are going to stick strong if you make them a little bit bigger or smaller they're not going to fit well now the last thing that you can do is to use I'm going to, I'm using like a toothbrush and I'm adding the same wax that I used to paint my branch and I'm adding that wax to the faux um, branches the eucalyptus branches just to to make sure that they're going to look and have the same color I'm just adding these where the stems start to protrude from the branch but this small thing is going to add a really nice touch to your tree it's going to make it look so much better 
so realistic and guys once you are done this is how the project is going to look like oh my god i'm so happy and excited i want to scream i'm so happy how this project turned out this tree is actually about four inches and a half tall um, which is perfect to decorate any space on your home and it was so inexpensive to do it cost me less like 20 bucks to do it and I love how it turned out so I really hope that you like this DIY and all of these 20 ideas that I share with you these are DIYs that you can do using Dollar Tree items things that you maybe have at home things that you can get at the thrift store or that you maybe recycle and I just hope that you like them and that you can get inspired by these ideas these are 20 DIYs that you can do at home on a budget and if you like this video please give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support this channel let me know in the comments which of these 20 ideas is one of your favorites and make sure that you are subscribed that you hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family remember to follow me on all my social media pages my web page and my other channel just on my home I'm going to be leaving you all of the links in the description box of this video and every single video thank you so much for all the love and support and see you on my next video Mwah. bye guys